It's a national ho- holiday for some fans, but for coaches it means finally a long journey of work is complete. A signing day special here on Eagle All Access. I'm Greg Center. Join alongside head football coach Ron English as we celebrate your fourth signing class here at Eastern Michigan. Yeah. and. It's got to be good to have this one in the books. Everybody says it may be the best one here in many, many years. Yeah, it's a, it's a good class. You know, what stands out to me is, one, most of the kids, uh, the most of any state was from in-state. So, you know, I'm happy about that. I'm not happy uh, about where we were in totality. I'd like to take double figures. But I am happy about our in-state hall this year. The other thing is his balance. You know, you have linemen on both sides of the ball, linebackers, defensive backs, running backs, receivers. So we took every position in this class, tight ends, every position except a quarterback. Yeah, the one thing that we mentioned is you mentioned 10 different positions and yeah. just continuing to go. I know you went heavy on the line again, 10 guys yeah. on the offensive defensive lines combined. And talk just about the quality and depth you guys are really starting to establish at those two positions because I know you were like pushing people around. Well, that's exactly right. We're starting to build some depth. Uh, all over this football team. And, uh, you know, Greg, as you well know, we had to replace some defensive linemen. We rolled seven last year. And uh, this year we returned uh, three. And so uh, we just needed to build some depth there. But, I I mean, the high school kids that we got are really good football players. I mean, the, the defensive linemen are, are really dynamic. They're big. Uh, they, they're wrestlers. They're explosive. I mean, I love those guys. And uh, and in the offensive linemen, we were able to have in multiple camps. Uh, and I asked Coach Anderson of the linemen we got, how many were – did he really want? He said, well, Coach, every single guy was in the top five. And so – I feel great about our alignment. We talked a little bit about, uh, you mentioned high school kids, 19 of them so far in and just four JUCO guys. A little bit of a, of a change from yeah. previous classes. Is that more just the way the program's turning around or you've now got enough positions that are starting to have quality that you can go more at the high school ranks? Yeah, you know, at, for the first time we're kind of, you know, we have numbers at every position. For example, you want six running backs and maybe five tight ends and so on and so forth. So our numbers are starting to be what we need them to be, so we don't need to kind of go get a J.C. guy. But we did take a Mike Backer because we feel like he is very dynamic, explosive, can run, uh, Tim Brown. And then we took Michael Swaim at the safety position because we lost our two starting safety. So we wanted to bring in one mature guy there. And then we did take the two mid-year junior college defensive linemen, uh, Cy Moffner and uh, Travis Linzer, and uh, – we just feel really good about them. They were from Phoenix College and Glendale uh, College, respectively, and we've known those coaches for 15 years, and they really helped us because these are both kids that had options. Well, you look overall, right now there's eight states represented, and you mentioned it most of all. You want Michigan and Ohio heavy. It's, mm-hmm. it's good to have local products. Yep. How has the success over the last season really changed and brought back into the fold some of the people that have quote unquote fallen out of favor in Michigan with Eastern Michigan? Well, I just think that they, you know, I think it's fair. I think they wanted to know if we were going to win. And I, I, you know, and I say it straight out to them when I talk to them. I say, you know, I I can understand that. You know, you want to know, are we going to be successful? And now that we have had some success and shown some real legitimate progress, I think that they feel good about sending their players here. I know that the coaches would always tell me, uh, that uh, the reception was awesome on the road and that, you know, they, people want you to do well and they were happy that we were having su- some success and uh, more open to send their kids here. One of the things that we also really discussed yesterday kind of off camera was just people choosing Eastern that maybe wouldn't have been in yeah. that situation in previous years. Yeah. I know some kids had some really high offers, yeah. but instead they chose to come yeah. play for you, and yeah. that's got to be a pretty good feeling. Yeah, we had a couple kids with, that had BCS offers and just turned those down. And then what was fun about this recruiting year is we recruited against other schools in the league heavily, you know, some of the uh, quote-unquote uh, uh, leaders uh, of the last few years and, and had success against them. And you know you're starting to – uh, do well recruiting when you're starting to be negative, uh, negatively recruited. And so we <laughs> we encountered some of that and still came out ahead, and so I'm happy about that. Well, you always stay positive with everything, and, and we really talk now about the positives of this class. And I know that you've mentioned some guys' names already. Who do you really see jumping out and maybe making an impact right away to start the season? Well, I do think that the uh, defensive linemen are going to make Travis Linzer 
and uh, Cy Moffner are going to be tremendous football players. Um, Devin Henderson, I'm, I want to bring him up because if you remember a year ago, he was one of the guys that we were most excited about. He fell just short. He's in this class, and we really need him. I wouldn't say he's in this class because he's paying his own way, but uh, he's on campus. So I bring him up because as a defensive lineman, he is going to help our team. He's uh, going to be a real good football player for us. Um, Michael Swain, we needed a safety. We lost some maturity. We we have some young guys that I think are going to be good players, but Michael Swain's a 6'3", 215-pound guy. He's played college basketball, athletic, can move. And so we're excited about him. Very good student. And the other thing is, most of these guys are great students. Uh, I think Tim Brown at the Mike linebacker position will help us uh, there. And then uh, I think, you know, the three receivers that we took, uh, Mitchell Dawkins from out of Florida. They're all big kids, you know. Dustin Krill uh, from out of Pennsylvania is another big kid. And then Quincy Jones from out of Ohio. All big athletic guys, all over 6'2", all over 200 pounds, all can run. We kind of look a little bit at the skill positions on offense, and you brought a lot of talent in there. You mentioned uh, names already, and you look at some. That was a thing that was lacking last year. Alex having some weapons on yep. the outside to yep. get the ball to. Tight ends were a big factor, and you mm-hmm. got two huge tight yep. ends and some big factors on, at, at running back and wide receiver. Well, we do. We we, uh, we you know we took Jawan Lewis, and Jawan was a guy who we expected to commit in December. He didn't commit. And so uh, we kind of got in a numbers crunch. And I had to tell Juwan before his last visit, I said, I don't know if I'm going to have one for you. And he said, Coach, I don't care. I don't want to be at Nego. I want to come to Eastern. And I went to sleep and I said, you know what? That guy, we'd have been very happy to have him in December. And uh, he wants to be here. I've known him for years and his dad as a, you know, as a football coach. He comes from one of the top programs in the state of Michigan. All they do is win, and he's tough. And we wanted a big back, and he's 5'10", 208. He runs track. He's run 10, 800 meters. And so uh, I'm really excited about him at the running back position, excited to take him. Uh, you know, and we did mention those wide outs. And you know who I want to mention? It's the tight ends. I mean, we took two big athletic tight ends. Christian Minnett was actually our first, very first commit, committed in the summer. So uh, and he stuck with us the whole time, has some looks. You know, he's 6'4", 235. He seems like he gets bigger every every <laughs> single time that I see him. And, and then uh, Cole Gardner, our other tight end, is bigger. I mean, he's a big old dude now. He's, he's 6'5". Uh, he's 240, 245, basketball player. Mm-hmm. And uh, comes from his dad's a coach, his mother. Uh, you go in the house, all the kids play sports. The daughter is a gymnast and, and a ballet uh Plays ballet, you know, it's ballet, and and then uh, the brother is uh, plays lacrosse and all those things, and so we're really excited about both those tight ends. Signing day special here on All Access. Just a few more minutes with head coach Ron English, and before we let you go on a busy schedule already, and you mentioned uh, multi-sport athletes. All of these kids have abilities in other sports. Yeah. We look. One kid was a player of the year in basketball. Another was in baseball, wrestling. Yeah. It it just they're more well-rounded than just, say, a football player. And I know that's something that will help and something you've built on in integrating these guys in the Eastern community. Well, when you talk about a guy by the name of uh, Darius Jackson, Darius Jackson is going to be able to play on our baseball team. Uh, he is a very, very intelligent kid, and he's big. We went and watched him at Northwestern. He broad jumped 11 feet. He vertical 39. I mean, and he's, you know, he's 6'1", 190, I think we got him at 190 pounds. And so, uh, you know, you're talking about guys like that, and we want guys like that. You know, Pipkins is a heavyweight wrestler. I mean, and, and he, he's going to have a chance to win uh, his state. You know, we already talked about Michael Swain, you know, plays college basketball already. Matt Thornton, uh, our kid from Owoso, plays college basketball already. And, I mean, excuse me, plays basketball at his school. So we've got some guys, as you mentioned, Greg, that play multiple sports. Uh, the other thing that you kind of touched on a little bit is not bringing a QB. First time you hadn't done that in a recruiting yeah. class since you've been here. Were there maybe some guys that just didn't pan out, as well as maybe do you look, go to that walk-on route knowing that maybe you didn't want to burn something yeah. because there are better guys out well, there? Well, we are going to have a walk-on come in here uh, because we do need one more quarterback. But we just felt like with the spacing we have, 
we were going to wait and take one next year, particularly if we could fill that scholarship number at another position, and we were able to do that. And so uh, we just felt like we could wait a year and still get a really good player with that pick. It's hard to think back all the way to when we kind of began this yep. journey back in, in July with practices and getting ready and everything, but it's been almost the, the golden age of EMU athletics this year. You look at what the volleyball team did. You got it started off with the best season in over 15 years, and now you've got two men's and women's basketball yep. teams in first place. Only seven schools in the nation can say that. Wow. I mean, that's that's saying something, and you got to be pretty proud of something that's going on you here in Eastern what? Michigan. I just said that to my wife uh, just a couple days ago. It's just what you just said, that how fortunate are we to be here at this particular time? All of us. We have a great president. We have a great board of regents. We have a great athletic director. And so, you know, and Greg, as you know, it's fun because you've been through the bad times and now you're seeing the good times. I also think, you know, we have a tremendous coaching staff. I mean, I like being around them. I like watching them and learning from them. I mean, we could play defense like our basketball <laughs> coach teaches. Both of them teach defense. Uh, we'd be uh, outstanding. But I'm just so happy to be here right now. And, you know, when all the programs do well, it helps recruiting in every sport. And I think that Eastern Michigan is really becoming uh, a power in this league. Well, force to be reckoned with. I know you only expect bigger and better yep. things. And spring practice just uh, less than six weeks away. Final thoughts as we close out this edition of uh, Signing Day Special. Well, you know, I, I our this year it'll be interesting because our team this year is going to be dependent upon last year's class. We took a lot of skilled players in that class, and those guys have to grow up now, and they have to really show uh, that they were a great recruiting class. But, uh, again, I'm happy with the class for several reasons. Uh, I think it's diverse. Uh, I think we hit all the positions. Uh, we have good students here and great people. Uh, certainly, uh, when you look at them, it is by far the, the best-looking class uh, when you look at these guys in terms of their stature. So, uh, and I want to say this. You know, our president hosted a recruiting mill every weekend. She's done that for three years. And so... Uh, what an advantage that is to, to be able to show off your president. And then our athletic director has spoken to every kid that we brought in here for three years. I mean, what an advantage that is. And so, uh, again, Greg, I'm just as fortunate as you are to be here, and, and we're excited about the future. We are excited, and you didn't even throw in the aspect of the brand-new pretty stadium that you got last year, thanks to Fathead. That's right. That's right. You know, uh, Pat McGinnis did a great job. You know, I was on him a little bit because he had just done some stuff for Toledo. <laughs> I said, Pat, come on. So he came out, and he said, all right, Ron, I'm going to do the lower bowl. And then I think that we paid some money, and he matched it. And, uh, you know, our, when you look at this office suite, you know, you can go online and really see our facilities and really see where they've come. And, uh, you know, we're going to put a new locker room down there with new oak lockers. And, and, and uh, we're going to be competitive in every way. Uh, we know that. Uh, prospects like new stuff and so we got to keep up with the Joneses but more than that the, the thing that everyone mentions when they come here is the people how great the people are and uh, so uh, that to me is the most important of all should be a fun time we thank you for your time hopefully yep. you get some rest now yep, being yep. home I'm sure that's yep. exciting times the kids and you out at basketball all the time <laughs> that's right that's right we can get back out there we uh, love going to the games and, and particularly my kids and they kind of the first uh, three years, it was all the women, you know, and now we're going to the men's games. And, and so, uh, but it's going to be fun to be able to watch our teams play. Well, don't forget, you can tune in on All Access for the next thing we're really going to have football-wise, and that will be the spring game. We'll have more details yep. to follow on that. We're looking mid-April, so yep. we'll have that, and Coach will join me as on the field, and we look forward to you to joining us then. Until next time, thanks for watching the Signing Day special here on All Access.